Hello, and welcome to the Quick School's Gradebook Module Quick Guide. To start, we're going to go to the Features page of your school's Quick Schools account. Now we're going to activate the Gradebook Module by clicking this checkbox. Now that the module is activated, let's click Configure to set it up. To start, we're going to configure who else can configure the Gradebook's options. Simply type in the names of the teachers or administrators and select them from the drop-down menu. Next, we'll select teachers who will be able to submit grades on behalf of all teachers. Finally, we'll check whether or not we want Gradebook enabled for all teachers, and then check whether or not the Gradebook will be visible to parents and students. For more information on how to configure report cards, see the Report Cards Quick Guide. When finished configuring the Gradebook, click Save. Now you can select Gradebook from your menu, as well as Grading Setup for you and teachers you have allowed to configure the Gradebook. Let's go to the gradebook first. An important note, you need to have configured the subject module before you can properly view gradebooks. To learn more on how to set up subjects, see the subjects quick guide. Now that we're on the gradebook homepage, teachers will see the primary subject they are assigned to. You can select which grade and subject you are viewing. On the left side of the screen, you'll see a list of students assigned to this class. To the right of the student list are grades. Each column represents a column in a traditional gradebook. To add a new graded assignment, simply click the Add Column button. Give the assignment a name, choose a category, set the date, and the highest possible score for the assignment. You can also use your own custom categories, and we'll show you how to set that up in a minute. Click Add, and then you're ready to start entering in grades for that column. To create a composite grade, such as a final or midterm grade, you can click Add Formula. Enter in the name, select whether or not the grade is final, and then you can build a formula for the grade. Simply click which category you would like to base the grade off of, and enter a percentage of the composite grade you would like the category to be. To make a composite grade that is 50% assignments, 30% quizzes, and 20% tests, click Add Another Weight Factor. Repeat the process, but this time, select Quiz and enter a weight factor of 30%. Now create your third and final weight factor. Click Test and enter 20 as your percentage. Hit Add and your new formula is ready to go with the composited grades calculated for you. If you need to comment on a particular grade, simply mouse over the grade you'd like to comment and hit the comment button. You can make either public, which is visible to students and parents, or a private comment, which is only visible to teachers. Click Save and you'll notice that a new button is visible on the grade, which shows the comment when you mouse over it. If you'd like to maximize your view of the gradebook, you can click the full screen button, which is particularly useful if you have a large number of columns. Simply click the same button again to get back to your gradebook homepage. To adjust your gradebook settings, click the gear button in the top right. These settings only affect your gradebook, nobody else's. You can select whether or not to show letter grades, class averages, the scale of your grades, and how your gradebook columns are ordered. To manually order gradebooks, select Manual Control and click Save. Then, simply drag columns where you need them to be and hit Save. Next, we're going to Grading Setup, where you can set up additional gradebook features. To start, we can manage grading categories. To add a new category, click Add Column Category and choose a category name and description. Hit OK and you have a new category for columns. Below Grading Categories are Grading Scales. From here, you can change the default grading scale simply by clicking Default. Here you can change the name and the description of the grading scale. The leftmost column is the minimum percent grade to earn the associated letter grade. The middle column is the maximum percentage for the letter grade, and the right column is the letter grade itself. To alter any of these values, simply click within the field you'd like to change. You can also add a new row by clicking here. Then simply fill out the minimum value the maximum value, the label, and click OK. You can also add a custom grading scale that other teachers can use. Simply click Add Grading Scale, and then enter in the name and a description. Now click Add Row to start adding ranges of grades. Now you can pick which scale to personally use from the Gradebook Settings menu. If you have any questions that this quick guide didn't answer, please feel free to contact us through the live chat in the lower right quarter of the quickschools.com website, or you can send an email to us at support at quickschools.com.